I'm Josh Hamlin. I'm going to show you today how to make a simple flake knife. Um, we're here, look, at, look around here. There's just pieces of glass all over. I'm in Ohio right now in an area where there's no plant rock really. Um, so you lose your knife. Um, you're in an area where there's no flint. What can you do? You can always go to a, to a place like this next to a river where the glass just piles up from people's trash and you can find something like this. This is just bottle bottom. Found it here a few minutes ago. So what I'm going to do, all I really want is a flake off of this. Go on, go on, buddy. Go, go on. All I really want is a flake. So, but in order to get a flake, I have to prepare a platform because I want to take the flake from this rounded side. That way I can get a good rounded blade. So, first I got to get rid of all this edges. I just very lightly hit it. So I got most of it off there. Okay, now to take a flake off of this side, and this is the same for stone as it is for glass. But this is just what I happen to have right here. I need to set up a platform going this direction. A platform is just a striking surface to hit on. You know, that's all a platform is. If people are so confused about platforms, I was confused for a long time. All it is is a striking surface. So all I'm doing is making a striking surface. This hammer stone ain't so great. Let's see what else I can find here to hit this rock with. I'm gonna hit this glass with here. Let's try this. One. Another not so great stone. It's working though. It's not great. Okay, now that's platform. That's one continuous platform all along that edge. Um, I could strike it now but it would make small flakes, the edge would crumble because it's not abraded, that's sharp. You can't hit a sharp edge or it will make a crumbled flake or a step and we don't want that. So all I'm doing is just abrading it with a brace of rock here so that I have a good striking surface. Okay, all I want to do is just take a flake off of this section right here. That's going to be our knife, the flake. There we go, here's our knife. Um, that's very sharp. Ooh, very sharp. Um, we need to go find a handle. So what I'm going to do is go find a willow tree or an elm tree or something like that. And then we'll come back and show you how to half this. Okay, here we got a willow tree. It's sticking out in the water, so i gotta, I got to work for it. But we just need a branch off of it. It's kind of thick, maybe half an inch thick or so. Okay, don't break easy, it's pretty flexible, but we got a piece of glass here. You can score it. Okay. Break all this stuff off of there. See how, how effectively sharp this is. That I'm just easily cutting this with it. But we're trying to figure out a way to not have to hold it in your hand to do this. That's why we're making this. Because I've already cut myself on it. So here's what we do. We're going to use the bark of the willow as cordage. down. Tear off these little branches. Okay, we've got some rudimentary cordage here. Could you hold this for me? I'm just going to roll it. Like so. 
I'll save this for later, I don't need all that. Okay, now we need to split this. Um, there's pieces on here that are sharp that we're going to have to dull because it will cut the quarters and we don't want that to happen. Whoa! That's why you want to put it on a handle because you don't want to cut yourself like I almost just did. So you just split it down a ways, like so. Almost too much, but it's still workable. Hold this for me. So take our cordage and then tie it down here. Like so. Okay, now we take our, our blade. I need to doll some edges of it if I can find the stone to do that. Yeah. This is our sharpest edge right here. This is pretty sharp, but we need it to be dull. So what I'm just gonna with the stone go along the back of it and doll it. We don't want it to cut our quarters. And the top and the bottom. The only edge we want sharp is this edge. Now we take our piece, slide it down in there, like so, and pinch it. When we wrap our cordage, just keep it twisted. Wrap our cordage. Still too sharp, maybe. Around the back, like so, and then around the top, and we just twist it around. And we take the end of our cordage, stick it down in the slice, in the split of the stick, like so, and slide it down in there. Now we have us a temporary sharp knife. Let's break this off. Let me show you how sharp it is. Pretty sturdy. A hooker knife. Very useful. Thanks for watching.